Caddy in this video I want to go over our, our vac and jet unit. This is our hot jet 2 custom made trailer custom engineered 500 gallon spoils tank. This unit's built for high elevation. We've, we're featuring both 37 horsepower fuel injected uh, Vanguard motors which of course are made by Toyota and in the US. Okay so I want to show that so this is our hot jet 2 jetter on the front again optioned with hydraulic and fuel injection so that's that's the bomb right there the other side of the uh, the blower unit we've kept the two units separate reason being if you're sharing one power plant I'm not in love with the couplers I'm in love with Kubota motors but the coupler they're using and they're sharing one engine we're able to achieve full power up both on the jet and the vacuum. This is a 5LR. On this one, it's a lot larger size max. We're able to get out. It's right about 900 CFM. And uh, so you can literally, uh, you could probably put uh, a couple hundred feet on there, huh, Chris, to still achieve uh, maximum suction, depending on what, what kind of uh, hose you're sucking through. All of our primaries on it are uh, you're, you're coming out on a four inch out here it's maintain full full suction on this unit it's got the primary shut off with the eye level for the fill drain at the bottom that's a powerful vacuum right there everything that you would need for 500 gallon of spoils that's going to fill it that's got the power to pick up anything uh, probably rocks and boulders they probably could suction them up of course they're not going to go up the hose but the, the rocks will if they'll fit they'll go through it uh, we've heard that a lot uh, fast fill we can, we can option this out anywhere if that's too high if a tree's going to take it off we can put it somewhere else but so this is the driver's side we've made everything basically on jetting on the pasture side so we'll walk yeah. around as we go I'm going to show the controls for the uh, vacuum here so that opens up like that. You've got the Whalen left to right, all the different types of controls. You can come on around and show those. It's just a nice high quality. Uh, you've also got the lights up on top. You see that in the video there? So you got a lot of rear lighting working off to the rear because you know half the time it's dark around the world. I'm going to go ahead and show how this lifts. I'm going to lift lift the hydraulic tank and then I'm going to show the uh, spray bars we put on the inside and go ahead and lift that up we're going to open the can and then we'll go ahead and lift that now I recommend doing this while it's hooked to the vehicle or have jack stands one or the other because you just change your uh, weight pivot point to the back here. What I love about this, uh, since we're in the water blasting business, I'm going to watch my head here. Chris, watch your head as you come in and can get a shot up in there. This is our, our, our tri wash out. So you can use hot water to blast this out. And you can use the jetter to blast this out. We'll come out around on this side. We'll just leave that up. I like that echo sound. Man, I made my voice sound manly. <laughs> yeah. All right, we just make the videos. Ah, this got to get shipped out. Okay, this arm comes out for support for the hose. So that's nice. Uh, so this unit is fully optioned out. This is the line that feeds the, the washout. So you quick couple in your spray washer. When the jetter's going, of course the jetter can be used as a power washer, hooks in here and you can blast that right out. Okay. So far I've heard that's awesome. Uh, you got two, these are how, how big a tanks? 200. 200, so there are. Two 200 gallon water tanks. They're tied in together. You got a fast drain right here and they feed the uh, water pump side. This is the power wash here. What kind of as you're going around here's the power wash side so that can hook out and hook to a lateral jet line 
or you can run it as a power washer, okay? So you can go out and clean up after your jobs. This is our premium 300 foot uh, reel with 3 8 inch holes. Full hydraulic. Hydraulic in, hydraulic out. Got a warthog nozzle on there. Take a bath here. It's been cold today. These are made to run at all temp, by the way. So you can, again, you can wash or you can jet lines with this. Hydro excavate. Um, what, a, what a combo machine. All your controls are right here. This unit being fuel injected, you've got the controls right here. If it was not fuel injected, <clears throat> you'd have to choke. Which, I don't know if fuel injection's worth the extra money. It's a lot more. Now this unit comes with full remote control for heat and engine on. Uh, you have to flip that switch. This is just an overview. Got full electronic uh, heat control. So it has an integrated heater, hour meter, uh, full emergency shutoff right there. Easy start valve so you can leave it in uh, idle between jobs. Hydraulic tank. And what I love about our equipment, as everyone knows over the years, we're known for easy, easy access, easy to service. Uh, check our service record compared to the other big national guys, we'll call them. Uh, boy, we've got a good track record, man. You can, you can fix this and get back going in a short time if something breaks. That's, that was our goal. Um, rarely do we, have, do we ever have problems, but if we do, Vanguard's got a national uh, dealer network. Uh, the pump guys, same, same deal. We're on national account with them. And, uh, you know, so far so good after 35 years. So all these panels come off. That's the design. Got great access here. If you need to get in into anything, these panels pull right off. And uh, take a look at that jack stand. That's nice. Then you can D-ring this or two and five sixteenths. I'd recommend D-ring, if, especially if you're loaded. But uh, call us if you need a special spec. These units are priced right, built to do the job. Thanks.